Hello and welcome back. You are about to discover a fantastic way to heal your mind and body that will leave you feeling good and happy all the time. Let's see how we can do it. Anytime you give your attention to anything, your attention to it activates the vibration of it within you. And a feeling of being scattered or confused, that chaotic feeling is about focusing upon lots of different things and usually contradictory things so that they're all activated within you so that you're running around on the brink of things being activated depending upon what your environment totally. brings to you. And that makes you feel like you want to hide from people. It makes you feel like you want to close yourself off from them where when you show yourself by practicing when it's comfortable to do so and that it usually begins when you're by yourself as you practice choosing thoughts that feel good and you use your willpower to focus upon them because they feel good what happens is in a very short period of time you deactivate by virtue of activating these things you deactivate those things so that law of attraction must give you more of those kinds of things so then your life becomes one of greater harmonics instead of disharmonics mm -hmm. You don't want to be single-minded because we like the word you use. You like the richness and fullness of the variety of your experience. But you can have richness in harmony or you can have richness or variety in disharmony or discord. So it's all about my newfound determination to focus with the intention of generating a feeling that feels good to me while I do it. 15 minutes of breathing really breathing breathing with the idea of filling my body filling my lungs so that my lungs can transport the oxygen and all of its life-giving qualities to the extremities of my body breathing if you're running or if you're moving your body you're doing it automatically but breathe 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 it is the exercise of allowing uh, above all other exercises of allowing in other words the air is there for you the well-being is there for you source energy is lined everything up for you just breathe yourself into receiving the fullness and no chaos there just breathe just breathe it is the most natural thing in the world you are worthy and loved and brilliant and your life has caused you to launch so many rockets that are right there ready to come into fruition just breathe them into being if you will take time to breathe yourself into alignment before your first encounter in a day you'll find that you won't be trying so hard what's happening to you is you're very sensitive to energy and so you get yourself lined up and then you introduce yourself in really full fashion yeah. to what's going on with someone else yeah. and as you do that instead of bringing them up to your vibration you're sort of meeting them at their vibration mm -hmm. and then recognizing it because you can tell by the way you feel as you don't Feel the energy and the way you're accustomed to and you even find yourself feeling physical fatigue mm -hmm. as a result of it and so what you're wanting to do is to do your work before you do the massage because right. once you get into it it's too late yeah. okay. unless they're really tuned in in which case they'll take you for a very good ride <laughs> so you could put a shingle out that says only come to me when you're at your best okay. <laughs> but most of them don't think that's when they need you right they want to come to you so that you can help them find their best you see in your breathing what it's saying is I'm just gonna let this be what it be while I connect with the energy that is me and in your breathing it happens with a lot of healers and people who are doing massage or even medicine or anyone who is hands-on anything with another very often what happens is you get so that you can feel when it's flowing and you can feel when you've bumped up against something and the knee-jerk reaction when you bump up against it is to garner more energy and push a little mm -hmm. but if they're blocked and you push it just backlashes right back at you and it doesn't help them we've never ever seen anyone no matter how talented they are in accessing the energy push through a blockage you just can't do it because whatever you're pushing against is getting bigger by your awareness of it so you have to envision blockage free your power of influence is so huge that others who are watching you are amazed at the confidence and power with which you move through life 
When you are a vibrational match to who you are, law of attraction brings to you, surrounds you with, lines up for you a steady stream of powerful, joyful opportunities and openings that just lead you segment by segment toward an ever evolving, always unfolding, joyful life experience. It's not about knowing what you don't want so you know what you do want and then you have to figure out how to get over there to what you do want we're not talking about the handful or dozen or hundreds or even the thousands of things that you are wanting and this workshop is not about getting you to those things this workshop is about helping you to reorient your understanding of why you are here in this body to begin with you did not come forth to get it done you did not come forth to identify things you want and then move over to live the manifestation of them because the manifestation of them is better than the absence of them you came forth in order to identify what you want so that you could move in the direction of what you want so that you can enjoy the stream of life that is constant and eternal you want to be in the flow of who you are not bucking the current law of attraction and its response to this powerful you that you have become creates a current that feels to you like a river or stream that is always moving in the direction of that which life has caused you to become and when you let yourself go with that flow you feel those emotions that you describe as positive emotions but when you're turned upstream in opposition to that current you feel it in your body you feel it in every fiber of your being you feel it because you are not letting yourself be who you are and that contradiction in energy tears you apart it makes you miserable it messes up your body it ruins your life to some degree it keeps you from being who you are we want you to understand the power of this river and the fact that it's not Disneyland and we cannot turn this river off you set your river in motion long before you got forth into this physical body and this river has been moving very fast since you've been in this physical body and every time you know what you don't want you make the river go a little faster by offering the rocket of desire about what you're wanting the reason the river moves faster and faster and faster is because every time you identify at any level of your being a preference or a desire how life would be better for you the non-physical part of you embraces that thought so completely and holds it so unequivocally and becomes the vibrational offering of it so completely and then as the powerful law of attraction responds to that ever increasing amassing vibration that you are setting forth there is a powerful sucking feeling that is drawing you toward it are you getting a sense of this we're trying to get you to understand how fast this river is moving and how important it is that you let yourself go with it when you let yourself move in the direction of who you've become you feel the ease of going with that flow and when you turn in opposition to it you feel the dis-ease of not allowing yourself to go with the flow and every emotion you feel is about simply that we hope you enjoyed the last 15 minutes with us We'd love to hear your thoughts, as well as your valuable feedback, in the comment section below. Just do it, because we truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, and turn on the bell, so you won't miss our next video. Thank you very much.